And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey, everyone. It's a sad day for everybody here at the bonfire. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, no, 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 no. Even Black Lou's sad for me. No, for sure. I don't think anyone's you were sad. sad for me. You what? Were, you were. You I would say the spirits are also, jolly. No, it's. I'm in a funk. The uh, Eagles lost again. Uh, it's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. <sighs> I'm sweatpants you know at work, Big J Okerson. No, no. That's you Dan gotta... hoping his eyes for tonight. Dude, we got Nick Mullins. Come town zone Nick Mullins <laughs> starting for the San Francisco 49ers against the Giants. Black. And Merck face bailed on me to watch it. He was going to come over and watch it. Black Lou's team got a worthless victory. Solves no problem. No, didn't it? They're not winning the up? Super Bowl either. It probably tied us up. Yeah, right? your records are... Up. Four it's, and five. Both four and five. It's just the whole thing's an embarrassment. The season stinks. They have no defense right now, too. Everyone's all depleted. It's out. And Ronald Darby tearing his ACL out for the season. He was such a waste of money. I mean, he's... I remember watching that Atlanta what? He game. Was out, he was, out the, entire, he was after, out the entire year of Super Bowl year. I called you after the Atlanta game, week one, the Thursday night kickoff game. I called you, and I was like, dude, Darby might be the best cornerback in the league. Did you think that? He had a he great had game. He exposed against, constantly after that. Not in the Fal after the Falcons game I'm talking about. I didn't call you recently. I was saying that's how big of an asshole I feel like. Because yeah. I called you after one game like I was a fucking ESPN contributor. He's going haywire. It's back, by the way, we're back this season. Also, Jay, I don't think anyone's sad because we Hang don't... On. Oh, no. You're on the Afrin? We're back. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to slip. We're going to have to do an intervention with you and Afrin. I don't give a shit. You guys got Jimmy Butler to the Sixers. What are you upset about? Oh, Dan, it's a different sport. It's fucking, it, you're still a fan of both teams. That's Wednesday's it, issue when he finally comes to the team. But it balances out. What balances out? You want a Super Bowl with the Eagles and now you're Jimmy the Butler, uh, picking up Jimmy Butler is worth the Eagles losing all their players and having I'm a shitty that, season. I'm saying you what should. What are you, a look, plantation owner? You should look to what are you the dealing blacks, you son of a bitch. That's not at all what I meant. I meant. Let's see how it reads. Wow. Take that's the weird. Twitter, that's, everybody. That's, yeah, go His to the best fucking. My friend is a black guy. Oh, well, then never mind. I'm sorry, everybody. His best friend's a black guy. Never mind. I have no fucking idea why you pulled out your Django fantasy when I'm trying to say that as a sports fan, you have you have to look towards the positive. You come in such a yeah. negative Nancy. All as the time. a white man, you would take one Jimmy Butler for a Ron Darby and a depleted defense. No, I'm saying your team got a great guy. <laughs> the, you, I don't like positive, new positive Dan. Man, all right, Dan Shane don't like it. Oh, your new boyfriend. He's white. He's single white female in me. I'm just saying, you know, he came over to watch the game. We shared some depressing times together. Some good food. Is this just because he's an Eagles fan? I won't be an Eagles fan. Laughs. Uh, I wasn't done explaining our night. Yeah. Uh, sweet dessert <laughs> treats. That's great. Uh, some high fives were involved. Wings. Uh, he loves wings. Uh, <laughs> this is the most petty. I like Petty J. It's his favorite food, Wings. Yeah, Petty J. Yeah. He goes, oh, you did that thing? I did that thing, too, but I did it way better. <laughs> Shaving a girl I didn't want to fuck until yeah. you... Until and then he's like, dude, you're he great. Liked, he liked you, and I was like, I'm pretty cool, too, dude. I'll just be cool about it and leave, and then you're just going to leave Shane in the dust. <laughs> no way. Yeah, dude. I'm calling it right now. He's in. <laughs> he's in. He's, uh, he's been looking... We should tell him. I'm leaving the bonfire. Shane's taking over. <laughs> Shane's bumping in. It's been fun. It's going to be an all-Philly thing, so get ready no for real sad go. Mondays. Not a, there's with no one to pick up. Jay and his dirty diaper get to take a, down the whole show if fucking the Eagles lose a nothing game. There's oh. not one. Wow. You, you went on the offense there when I was getting ready to say. No, hell yeah. I went on the there's, not a, there's not a radio slut in this world that could take the place just, of my Danny Soder. I don't That's care. what I was going to say. I'm already out. While you were, while I'm already you were packed I'm working on me. I'm, unpa I'm packed up and I'm out. I'm going to go follow Jimmy G around the country. <laughs> it's an emotional. <laughs> I'm packing my shit into a van and I'm just following Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm going to be like a deadhead. I'm going to be Poncho Mike. You okay. dreamt it up, but it's going to be Jimmy Dan. <laughs> I'm fucking Poncho Dan. Poncho Dan. Would, Poncho Dan would be great. Poncho Dan would make sense. I could totally see you following. And what do they call them? Drug rugs. <laughs> <laughs> Just a a wool po poncho, but the, with the sleeve, but the one with the sleeves. No, that's not a poncho. What's that it's called? It's like kind of a poncho. 
this? I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, all. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I can totally I'm, see you rocking that. I've been waiting for a reason to wear this and being scorned by my radio husband <laughs> for a man that I brought around. I basically... You're not scorned. I honestly This got, is like when when a rich guy hires, when like the wife is like, we need a nanny. Get an au pair. And then this Brazilian girl comes in and then the husband's like, I'm going to marry the au pair. You're out of here. And she's like, well, you, that's what I am. But you and Vecchio were first invites. Vecchio went to the game. I didn't you, get an invite. I know, because you were doing Ari's show. I was in character. I don't even know what happened yesterday. I was the role of Shooter oh, Adams. Oh, damn. Give Come me a on. reason to wear that. Give me a reason to wear that. I'm asking you to. I bet that's so comfortable. I can't wear that out of that. I would feel like such a fucking idiot. Dude, your winter California. poncho? I, don't, I can't do winter poncho. You'd be badass. What Listen, are you going to wear on that longboard I was buying you for Christmas? I don't know. <laughs> My shoe game got thrown off because Shane's single white female and me on those two. Shane and me both think you'd look really good on a longboard. I don't care. <laughs> Dude, I'm so... I'm so uncoordinated that a longboard would result in my death. I've never put two feet on a skateboard in my life. It's never happened one time ever. Not once. Not one time ever. Should we do a... Here's what I do. Should, I put we, do my an, should we do a Bonfire X Games? I put... <laughs> skateboards? Dude. For the I heart put, of shame? If I can get on one, I would be impressed with myself. I've put, always put one foot on it. Yeah. I roll it back and forth a couple times. I go, no way. <laughs> really? That's, I've done that a hundred times in my life. I, I... Yeah, I'm like a baby deer. I can't skate at all. When I see a guy run and jump onto a skateboard and start skating i go you might as well that guy, probably, ass. that guy could probably do brain surgery yeah I, he better probably could do a standing backflip yeah no doubt yeah but you i, also, but I see... also believe standing backflip again i believe if i believed in myself <laughs> i could achieve that you know much who... like a kip up if i just believed i could accomplish it yeah and saw the follow through in my head the same way i told i told on here right with the uh comedy jam and phoenix when i uh I, I was going to get on the front of the bar to sing. Yeah. And it was like a bar that I definitely could have pushed myself up and put my plan on my foot. But all I saw in my head going up for it, I was just like, I'm going to miss it. Mm -hmm. End up throwing my knee up there, last minute nervous, and then have to roll onto a bar. <laughs> you can't be a fat guy rolling onto a bar to go sing a song. That's what they kick fat people out of bars for. When we, um, I went and saw St. Paul and the Broken Bones with Ari Shafir and Greg Stone. hipster brag. Yeah, it's real hipster brag, sure. But the guy got stuck on the amp crawling up. He's like <laughs> kind of a chubby dude in like a leopard print suit, and he's like, Hur! And he's singing, and he goes, ha, ha, he just stayed where he was at. Ha, Scott, I'm actually going to need a little help. <laughs> yeah. ha, and, Seriously, guys, like, I'm really, like, my knee's caught in a funny way, and I, ha, I, I was like, dude, this guy's not getting down, and he's just singing it, and this is his voice, where he's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> he's just on this amp, like, I love it. Just stuck. And you watch him after the song be like, okay, all right. Then just slowly back down. Dude, my first Marilyn Manson concert ever, uh, he came out on the stilts. He has thing that comes out with stilts and uh, big crutch handles. Yeah. And he's got a helmet on, like a weird leathery helmet with a microphone attached to it. And he's coming out to sing the song. That does sound also very like uh, 1800 circusy. Oh, you can Just find videos of helmet with stilts. With stilts. Yeah. yeah, it is. Supposed to look bizarre. And the world's tallest man. All, and he usually sings. The mic would just wasn't working. <sighs> and watching him like try at one point like scream. Watching somebody scream rock when you can't hear a word they're saying. <sighs> you just see like ah. <laughs> yeah. like wide open mouths. Can I ask the question of if if we don't have video of it? Was he walking around on the stilts in like an evil way? Was he trying to do yes. like a creepy evil? Because that takes and like, the mic you have wasn't to be working. in character. Mm -hmm. So when you have a technical fail, you're like, hey, nah, I'm cat. Oh god, damn it, guys! I'm coming for your soul, and I'm coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, nope. and so what he does, he ends up just going like. Even funnier, he gets angry. He realizes it's not working. Yeah. And he just, like, he throws the crutch handles away. Mm -hmm. And watching somebody huff off <laughs> in three-foot-high stilts is one of the funniest. Because yeah. he's, like, you know, he throws the thing. He sees yelling at somebody off stage and then has to go, like, ba do be do ba do be do ba do be do ba do oh, dude. Like an old Uncle Sam. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. hey, everybody. I, I, I bet it does blunt the blow to watch the person that's about to yell at you walk over in circus fashion. Yeah. Where you're like, I'm about to get yelled at by a guy on stilts. So this, this won't be as bad if he was grounded. Yeah. Guys, sorry. Quick little technical issue. I have to go backstage. We should. <laughs> yeah. 
Just a stilt walk. Down. Everyone, just enjoy this balloon animal twister. Uh, I go over here and get this technical problem. Handled. Sometimes evil, uh, evil doesn't work with its microphone. Sometimes, people, the circus brings you live entertainment that goes all re. If we could just take a quick intermission right now, watch this bear running on a ball. Back when the circus meant something. Yeah, that's right, animal before rights we activists. Care about, before we care about elephants. Before we start thinking about how elephants Stupid take ass it. elephants. <laughs> how many people do elephants kill? Kill a year, that's, that's Let's get those numbers. No one's talking about those numbers. You gotta, it's funny to think, like, you know, um, we're like a, a, a subject that no one's been provocative about, but you're like, I'm gonna be provocative <laughs> about that. Like, bring back the circus. And they're like, why is this year still the Because I miss it. Because the circus used to do cool shit. I want an excuse to wear a glow necklace. Yeah. Oh, man. There'd be so many animal rights activists that are like, this is the enemy we've always wanted. Hell yeah. It's just the Let's guy. Let's do it. F- bring back the circus. The bonfire, the bonfire says, br- hashtag bring back the circus. Where's the circus? Everyone likes the circus. Extra animal cruelty. <laughs> yeah. I, wa- I don't about- want any, I don't, no more accidents. Let's go Roman. You fucking whip these animals let's, and shit, whatever go, it takes. Let's go Roman, humans versus animals. Let's make it count for something. Bring back the circus. Lions fight prisoners. And Catholics. <laughs> Specifically Catholics. Catholic prisoners. We go weird, odd one thing. Oh, man. We lure them into finding religion in prison, and then we feed them the lions. Shout out to Marilyn Manson for sponsoring us. <laughs> He's going to be our dark overlord. Dude, walking off. Do you have a room on those stilts? Exactly. There's probably a video of it going back. I assume it's not the first and only time it ever happened. What, that he had technical issues on, on those stilts? stilts? Yeah. Because stilt walking is such a ridiculous but, with, thing. but without the stilts doing, like, the creepy spider thing. Yeah. And you just angrily, like, it's just a clunk. You're like, yeah, you have to clunk off. Oh, yeah, because here he's like, I'll kill you, and Oh, look at this. It looks fun. Yeah, with the crutch handles, it oh, looks man. super fun. Can you imagine just coming out of the fucking scaring someone? Just coming over around the corner? Like, if you could move on that fucking thing? I, like, answer your door with it. Yeah. <laughs> and you, and, yeah, there you go. Oh, I'll just take that. Just put it on. <laughs> Holy shit! Why are you yelling at you? go, hey, hey. Soda's moving around like a giant spider. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, what's up, guys? I'm here for the fancy football draft. Hey, guys. Uh, table for two? <laughs> Walk through, come down. Uh, do you guys have two high tops? Two tickets for the hate you give? We'll take the stairs. Yeah. Oh, no need. Oh, just trying to be on an escalator all fucking tight in those things. You can even picture watching this. Like, he throws those crutches away. He looks like a like a doofus. Yeah. Evil, uh, like, evil rock and roll goes uh, corny real quick. Yeah. As soon as you get backstage, you went to a, a brightly lit dressing room. Yeah. And you're, like, and you're oh. just sweaty and covered in makeup. Up. Yeah, that's why as always I was I'm this And you have to go Isaac, can you get me a towel? That's where our age difference is, is because like Motley Crue and like the hair rock and like the glam metal of the eighties to me was ridiculous because I was young enough that it was over by the time I was into music. Yeah. So I was like, Oh, these guys are just wearing makeup, but they're like, it was so cool at the time and I'm like Okay. <laughs> it was just cool in like, a place because no one in my neighborhood at that time went Here's what they would do. The, the goofy hair for sure. Yeah. A, a half top tank top. Great. Without a doubt. That's what I think but we should bring back. No one went full blown like makeup. Glam around. metal. It's a shame, dude. I yeah. Mean, look, look, what, look what the cat dragged in. Killer tune. You got some good fucking tunes, those hair bands. But man, it was such but you a, know what I'm saying? It's such like, a it's, genre of music. It's always funny to me that also like the satanic rock, when you look back at it, you're like, this isn't scary. Like Guar maybe holds up is like, well, that's pretty fucking terrifying and weird. But when you see like Marilyn Manson, like teenagers now wouldn't be like, oh, that guy's evil. They'd be like, oh, oh Marilyn Manson being dangerous now. It's yeah. Like, no. Yeah. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? Isn't that fat neck guy who fucked juice on Sons of Anarchy? Yeah. yeah. And you'd be right. Yeah, but like Ozzy. Ozzy's like another one where it's like, if in the 70s, they're like, he bit heads off bats. He was just crazy. And now he's like, <laughs> oh, forgetting that. How about when he went, like, in hair metal? You gotta remember, Ozzy was famous through hair metal. Yeah. So, I mean, Ozzy's a so legend. O- so Ozzy went, but I'm saying, the Ozzy whole went evil hair metal at a point. No, I'm saying he, he dropped evil. Yeah. 
quick. The way the kiss went disco? And when, uh, did bring up the shot in the dark video of Ozzy. It's the fun, it'll make you be like, was this guy really looked at his, <laughs> yeah, well, like that dangerous? Well, you know what's, is, is like as a wrestling fan, Hogan, Hogan knows best. Like completely ruined Hulkamania because it was. Oh like, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. see him get yelled at it by his wife, and she's like, "Terry, you didn't do this right." And you're like, "Hulks are kicked out of the." That okay. takes that takes that away too. And I get what you're saying about Ozzy seeing him on like the Osborne show. That's what I show. mean. It's because, like, I know, but it's killed. If you just have to enjoy his music because before that, watching a guy be evil. Yeah, being glam evil, glam is one of, is one <laughs> of the evils. is one of the gayest things ever. Yeah, I mean, with teased Chippendales hair, is this the video? We're just going through some technical issues. Listen, guys, here at the bonfire, we're human. Yeah, we have technical it. issues. We start late sometimes because it doesn't work. That's sometimes our Aussie videos don't load properly. But you can change this by go funding my. Bring back the circus. <laughs> Jimmy, bring back the circus and Dan Soder's Jimmy G tour. I leave the show. Shane comes in. Potato, potato. I'm following that handsome son of a bitch racking up W's next season. <laughs> You're going to be his motivator? I'm going to be motivator. In a poncho. It'll, it'll all come together. Oh, what's wrong? We can't watch the video. I'm not getting an official video for Shot in the Dark. Really? There's live performances. That upsets me. It's a, such a ridiculous video. Yeah. Try to find it on yeah. something. It's but a Marilyn ridiculous Manson video. never went like, uh, he didn't change, you know, like, I would try to think what would be the, what? but I'm saying like Marilyn Manson, what did he change to? He went that, that he did all the goth shit. Yeah. It was like the goth Willy Wonka shit. Then it was the goth more like nine inch nails, leather straps and oh. evil. No, but then the next album, he went like glam rock, like the dope show and all that shit. Like completely changed. Really? Yeah, he followed like David Bowie's trajectory. In, like, you know, a much uh, less accessible way. I'm not going to lie. did not know Marilyn Manson went that deep. And that you don't remember the whole when he wore the, had the tits on the it album was, cover? That was when I was, like, being introduced to him. Like, by the time I caught wind of Marilyn Manson. But you've seen I mean, before yeah. that, it was when it was all, like, the yeah. gothic. And, I saw all that. But, I yeah. And then he like, went back to the goth thing. To me, that was like, oh, yeah, that's Marilyn Manson. That's yeah. how I learned about Marilyn Manson. Yeah, but that was whole mechanical thing. animals. I mean, we see when he's young. I mean, just a goofy... Skinny, ugly kid with like scraggly long hair. Yeah. Then he became a beautiful piece of art. Yeah. And I mean that, but I have to say it like I'm just joking when I say it. Yeah, but you'd really do. I really you do. hold on to that. You go, oh, I, I, I became a beautiful you. piece of art. I should have fucking had to, uh, I should have had to cheek a dick while I said that. <laughs> you know, hold on. <laughs> or just stroke one out of your mouth. You're like, oh, beautiful yeah. piece of art. He became a beautiful piece of Dude, art. The second picture, the second picture down in the second row, the second to the yeah, left. Yeah, him having a regular conversation outside of a brick wall in that outfit is, is but he just, pure buffoonery. He looks like a hooker pushed to the point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm uh, just going to go back and, and sell Cutco knives for this summer, and then I'm going to go back to beauty school. Yeah, the Johns like it when I dress a little weird. <laughs> they like to call me, you know, they call me Mad Max. A lot of people don't know is I could take out six of my front teeth. <laughs> I'm like a snake. I can unbuckle it. Oh, the video does not exist? Everywhere I'm finding it on weird sites, when you play it, it says the video doesn't exist. Did Sharon Osbourne flex that fucking oh, disappearing no. power? Was she like, I want it gone and I want it gone yesterday. Ask why you can't find a shot in the dark video. Because Ozzy knows what's out there. Sharon, before I die, <laughs> take, please, take all down, glam. please take down the shot in the dark video. I didn't know what I was doing. I like all of his glam. Yeah. He wants his glam. I didn't submerged. know that. I didn't know he went glam. I mean, but, I mean, this is the song. This is hair rock for sure. You like the song? This is not my favorite Ozzy song, but I probably because of the video he looks so stupid that I. You remember it? Oh, Dude, he's wearing yeah. a he's wearing like a Liberace my... like wizard cape. Bing it, go to Bing, Jacob. I, you can how get cool. a still of just his oh, his hair is just poofed. And out. his hair, yeah, he's got like I'm finding like I, I, he's got Swayze Chippendale's hair. Oh man, By he way, looks like an idiot. Can I just say <laughs> the first time like this is this was the first time I felt like this radio show was like a submarine because I'm like Christine, you can just like Bing it. She's like I'm I'm trying everything I got. I, I'm not getting. I'm getting nothing on this. It goes, the power's out. <laughs> we the whole thing. Fucking, the whole, I don't know. Our backup generator's all fucked up. <laughs> the whole grid's blown. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's a link on VH1 Classics, but then the video's, like, not actually there. <gasps> is that a classic? I thought it was a classic. VH1 doesn't think it's a classic? What if I told you the video was never filmed? Did you bing it? Yeah. And type in the word titfuck also. <laughs> oh, dude, should we go? Should we take a break and then come back for that clip? 
<laughs> we got to start with that clip. We do. Let's also see in the break if we could find this Ozzy Osbourne video because it's worth putting it out there. I mean, he looks ridiculous. Yeah, I, I want to see it. Is this? Would this be the video? Yes, there? that would be the video for sure. It's Why do they have it scrubbed? I always find it interesting when shit's scrubbed from the internet. Chris it Rock's it oh, first pitch in this. <laughs> That's what's been scrubbed. And now my favorite, oh. my favorite worst comic ever video from from uh, YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my favorite bomb. Movie. I know it's my favorite, but whatever. No one cares. Shot in the dark. Shane already made me feel pretty good about it. <laughs> what? What did you say? What? I didn't say anything, dude. I love you so much. Let's take a break. It's the bonfire. Poncho Dan's coming. <laughs> hey, campers. Guess what? Me and Dan got hooked up with some awesome new security cameras from Blink Home Security. We can and stop you know, burglaries. We can stop burglaries. Blinks are small, mm. motion-activated video cams, and when they detect any movement, they send an alert to your smartphone with a clip of what it saw. Or in Dan's case, it sends you a clip of what's going on in the dishes house. Yeah, not in her house, on the outside. Just I just watch. see the comesings and the goings. <laughs> oh, man, that's got to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You see a guy come, and then you just see a, t- a, t- a tussled hair back of head walking out yeah. an hour, an hour <laughs> later. You're like, yeah. you're like, only an hour? Wow. Oh, you just got up for coffee? He's got nap hair that quick? <laughs> Oh, man. Blink syncs right up with your smartphone, and it works right out of the box. Uh, It's wire-free. It runs on batteries that last for years. No installation at all. You can keep an eye on everything when you're out. The dish, who's coming, who's going, the Steves, the mics. The Dwayne's. All the local mechanics, the Dwayne's, whatever. No subscriptions, no <laughs> contracts. Here's the deal we got, you campers. You get your Blink camera system starting at less than $100. It's less than $100. No contracts or subscriptions. You visit BlinkProtect.com slash bonfire. BlinkProtect.com slash bonfire. Again, for Blink camera systems starting less than $100. BlinkProtect.com slash... I don't know. Why don't you ask Shane what it is? It's bonfire. Oh, okay. I was going to call him. <laughs> He's in my five face. Oh! <laughs> Turn of the knife. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I can't get on board because all of the singing sounds the same in all the songs. It all yeah. sounds like they're all sang by the same guy. They are, Brett Michaels. That's badass. That's how bands work, Dan. No, I'm saying all hair metal. Sounds like it's sang by Brett Michaels. I'm sorry, your favorite front man floats around in 75 different bands. Unless Brett Michaels kind of hung in there with Poison. <laughs> Dude, can I tell you something? Start start this song over, but pause it for a second. <laughs> we I may have told this, but I definitely told it with Lewis before. But uh, when we were in Z-Rock... Lewis came out with me. We were supposed to film with Brett Michaels one day. Yeah. Lewis Jake Gomez, I'm talking about, obviously. The real ass dude. The real ass dude himself, the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. He was with me because we were filming with Brett Michaels out in Long Island. Mm-hmm. And then we were filming before and after his concert he was putting on at Mulcahy's, a small, small bar. We went, we had a shitty day. He ended up bailing on filming with us, Brett Michaels. But they go, you guys could all stay for the show. And he just, the whole day was like, we were there from like morning till night. Yeah. Well, for nothing. For nothing. So you guys were just waiting on him the whole day. We were able to film his bus leaving. That's what they let us film. So they just played that into the storyline. Um, cause the whole, it was actually the episode, the episode that was about my character. It's what we're trying to get back to is this Brett Michaels show. Yeah. And Lewis came out and, uh, Brett Michaels like delayed going on stage for like 45 minutes after already fucking being, you know, fucking the whole day up and everything. Yeah. And what does he need an extra 45 for to put his, his permanent bit- bandana on? Yeah, here's the thing, I don't know. But here's the thing that Lewis, uh, a fun fact about Lewis, his first concert ever was called the Poison Pizza Party, where he had a pizza party and then went to see Poison. <laughs> that was his first birthday party? No, that was his first concert ever. Oh, okay. Poison Pizza Party. That's a fun, it's what one of my favorite stories, yeah, ever. Yeah. And he, him and his sister just have this bond over it, over that band. I think she showed him the band and yeah, then he yeah. got into, you know, Lewis loves hair metal. He loves it. Loves it. Yeah. And Lewis is pissed off and just in a bed and then, when that song kicks in, Lou, hit that song. When that song kicks in is when he starts coming out. I mean, Lewis's face lit up. He was so excited. It was the most adorable thing. Yeah. He called his sister and held the phone up. Ah, that's great. Which she would have, all she would have. <laughs> but he's like, oh, fuck it. But it's, it's, it's adorable to know that Lewis can go every from, words and that Lewis can go from head. pure Lewis mode, which is like, I'll fucking kill everybody. I'll burn this guy down. Oh! 
He's here! He's here! Dude, he lit up. Yeah, it's great. It was so cool. When you see somebody who affects someone like on that yeah. level, it was like, here he is. And he's like, close to us. I just did his podcast, and his favorite band is, uh, Skid Row. Skid Row, and he was talking shit about That's Queen- insane. He was talking shit about Queens of the Stone Age, and I was like, shut the fuck up. Your favorite band's Skid Row. Skid Row. Yeah, and he's like, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> he pulled it back from that. So who's it now? I don't know. But the only other person with musical taste like that where I'm like, it's strange is Nate. When I used to open for Nate on the road, I said he always had, he had, um. Taylor Swift, man. No. The best way to describe Nate, what Nate likes is he likes, um, Twilight Bowling Alley music. Like, you know, like laser bowling. Like what? Like, just like those kind of pop songs, whatever's like, he like loves Taylor Swift. The Taylor Swift thing was in. Carly Rae Jep- Jepsen. Big fan. It was, <laughs> loves, yeah. it. loves it. It's insane. He told me. Yeah. If he's listening to music, that's what he listens to. But he told me, I don't care about music at all. Yeah. That's his actual take on it. Yeah, he's just he doesn't like, care about me. That's bizarre. He, well, I, he's told me in the car because I would have to try to find a political way to commandeer like the aux cord for my iPad, mm-hmm. right, iPod, where I'd be like, "Can I please put on music?" Because he'd be like, "No, nah, man, it's a good one. You're gonna like this song." And he'd be like a Taylor Swift song. I'd be like, "Dude, I can't. I just fucking can't." We'd listen to like Z100 or whatever. Holy or shit! Say. But I'd be like, "Ah, oh, Nate," and he's like, hey, "You're right." He's just like, "I don't care," but he's also like, "I like it. It just, I just like it." That's the funny of being a passenger in a car, though. Then Dan took her out with me, and we're listening. We're going deep tracks on heart. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right. Yeah, there it is. There's the other side. Uh, but I, And I always say, if this is something you don't like, I'll absolutely turn it off. And I will. Yeah. Listen, Unless did, I really feel like, we nah, did a, you should listen to this. We did a nine-hour ride to North Carolina mm-hmm. and zero music problems. Lewis was just in the back getting caught with the cold wind. Cause Weird. We had, Oh man, that gig was such a weird, that was a hotel yeah. ballroom. Yeah, that was a hotel ballroom. You got, down. you got Taco Bell, got crazy sick. Yeah. That was, a, that was, but the funny part was we all got down there after driving all night. We got hotel rooms and they gave us three hotel rooms and I was like, yes. And we didn't sleep. So I went to my hotel room and fucking crashed. And then I just hear, I'm in. I'm like, what? He's like, they're fucked up. We only have two rooms. <laughs> they booted uh, Lewis out. Yeah, yeah, they booted Lewis out. So Lewis, I, I think Lewis gave his up. And then he came to my room and was like, move, move over. And you're like, oh man. And just like the energy getting stirred up. <laughs> so Lewis was walking in and I was like, I was so peacefully sleeping. That was the fucking hotel where we walked in and Lewis was the first one in and the woman goes, you look like a drowned rat. Drowned rat. Drown rat. Yeah. Yeah. And then Lewis, I think ran off that night with people. Yeah. Yeah. He went clubbing. <laughs> yeah, me and you ate Taco Bell. Me and you got, ate Taco Bell. Got really high. And I think video games. I think you brought video games. It's very possible. That was fun. It was a fun, uh, speaking of fun, <laughs> Big J gonna be back in Philly. See how that is? That's just a natural transition. Yeah, you're good. Oh, Big J gonna be in Helium in Philadelphia. Yeah, this, party time! This Thursday through Saturday. And then after that, he's gonna be at the Punchline in San Francisco, November 29th. Through December 1st, go to BigJComedy.com for tickets and go stream his special if you haven't already, or if you already have, go stream it again. First episode of The Degenerates streaming right now on Netflix. Dan Soder going to be at Rumors, Winnipeg, Canada, November 15th through the 17th. That's this weekend. Ooh, Winnipeg trip, huh? Get your pants Oh, yeah. Everybody. Right up to the birthplace of Jericho and Kenny Omega. It's the first time at that club? I love Rumors. I've yeah. never been there before. Yeah. They, uh, some, I, I should, I'd should like to definitely get up, go there, up there. Man. Yeah, I hear it's great. It's a fun club. Um, and after that, Dan's going to be at Laugh Boston. That's November 29th through December 1st. Get tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Our best of the bonfire podcast. Doing well, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, keep helping us out with that everyone download subscribe rate review uh anywhere you download podcasts from it's our friday best of show available now as a podcast and our weekly videos uh they're going up on thursdays on comedy central's youtube channel to see the whole playlist you can go to cc.com slash bonfire youtube and uh and enjoy those videos the half hour videos of the show and we want to like yeah. i want to go at them i want to try to i want to see subscribe if we can get some buzz about this becoming uh something they put on the actual why not tv network why, why not they, yeah i mean well, why don't, don't give you a, a they have no idea how good it would work <laughs> oh yeah but i'm saying like just put us on on a wednesday night at 11:30 just use the best of from the week before yeah help yeah help us <laughs> help you uh help. i asked we were up in the office before the show. I asked Black Lou. I was like, did you get some Red Dead in? Because you got into it, but you're not into it. No. Red Dead Redemption 2. You're, you're not, not I, I don't dislike it at all. It's just I 
It's like I'm, I'm watching a movie that I can't I- interact with enough. Uh, even though Jay's side piece, Shane, uh, criticized me for Nightfall's name, Nightfall's doing very well. I want everyone to know that. Is he really? And Justin came over and... Uh, it's, I named mine Dangler. Yeah, hell yeah. Donkeys. <laughs> That's what I named him, Dangler. I got it today. Yeah. Dangler? Got a horse today, named a Dangler. It's pretty good. Does he have a Dangler? No, you, you know what? This game's so smart. None of the other Cowboys seem to get it. How funny it was. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who I bought it from, who I had to name it before I took it from him, you think he would have been like, hey, good name, man. Oh, he Fun. does. Dangler, look at that. Hey, he does have a giant dick. That's balls of the wall humor, son. Yeah. If you could put the dirty jokes in Arthur Morgan's mouth. Yeah, he really does have a giant old dick. <laughs> uh, but I asked Black Lou, I was like, did you play Red Dead Redemption 2? He's like, nah, man. It was all... It was at all in-laws all weekend? Yeah, the in-laws came up. We oh, got a shit. nice New York City weekend. Yeah, you saw Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter was uh, it's a marathon. It's a mar- That's well, not how you want to well, be that's told. That's what they say, man. All Broadway shows are they're not sprints, man. They're marathons. <laughs> Is that what they say about Broadway shows? Yeah, I think that's exactly what they say. <laughs> um, did you, how, how long was it, the total run time? Total run time, I think, was like five and a half. That's Get the fuck, fuck out of here. here. I'm dead serious. Hell yeah. Five, five, five and, and a half, half hours? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. How much do you have... You have to really love Harry is Potter. It all and let me just say nine books. I'll say, yeah. <laughs> is it the full story? I've never seen any Harry Potters. If you, dude, if I went to a Harry Potter play, they go on the day he was born. Harry Potter go. Oh, we're going back to born. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> I need this kid around middle school at least. When does he start wizarding? Yeah, <laughs> and they go like I don't know, fifteen. You know, just that, that fast forward. I want to see when he gets that crack in the head that makes him the, uh, you yeah. know, with the thing. What gives him his powers? Yeah, what gives him his powers? And then a fucking owl better come through a window. Um, I've never seen any Harry Potter. I don't know the story at all. So I want to go in blind. <laughs> I've just been waiting for this moment. He goes, fun. I'm like, I'm like, fuck the movies, fuck, fuck the, the movies. books. I go, one day. This I have to ingest this as a Broadway show. <laughs> I need musical breaks in order to really let it soak in. I need <laughs> that. If that doesn't become a thing that you can remember to say to people yeah. when you go, uh, when someone says, you read know. a book, he goes, no, I'm waiting for the Broadway musical. Yeah. <laughs> About what, whatever they say. At, at whatever age they decide to make it. Cause they're popping yeah. up now. Stuff that I still, Rocky didn't, didn't care for it. He then that? saw the, uh, saw the musical, loved it. He goes, did you read that book that, uh, John McCain wrote before he I'm waiting for the musical. I heard American Sniper is going to be previewed on the Chris Kyle story. I'm excited to read it. They're having a lot of problems. There's a lot of harness work in this. Didn't even care for Spider-Man until the Broadway musical. It was worth it. Five and a half Spider-Man, hours. Oh, Spider-Man's a superhero. Oh, my God. Thank you, Bono and Edge. Oh, thanks for scoring it. How, was, uh, how long was the intermission? Intermission was two hours. What the so fuck? What? Yeah. So you we, go home and we, shower and fucking call your family? <laughs> we, we, you were change, seven hours you're, there? You're, yeah. You change uniforms? Yeah. They go, you are now allowed to change your diapers after watching us prance around. Dude, fuck yes, Harry Potter. I suggest going outside and punching each other's legs to oh. wake them back up. You should all march somewhere. <laughs> get the blood down to your feet. Two hour intermission? Yeah, so it was, it went day. to first, it went to first. <laughs> yeah, basically. You should have robbed the bank and had an alibi. Yeah. You really do. <laughs> but we had like a little 10 minute break in between like the first and second part. And then there was a two hour intermission. And then we had to come back and do that. And then there was another 10 minute intermission. It was it worth it. it out. Was it your it, in-laws it entire was, trip? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> was it the entire time they were here? They go, we landed LaGuardia at 825. We feel like we can get to Harry Potter. 9 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter's as long as an Indian wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was, I mean... The show was pretty good. It's basically Harry's kids. All the kids. It's have not kids even now. the fucking uh, H man himself. No, dude. I H- mean, H- I mean, H- you think H P showing up for Broadway, dude? Wow. You gotta right wait the, for. He goes when Harry Potter was questioned. He said Broadway sounds pretty gay. Oh. Potter. Oh. Potter. Mister Potter. I think he comes back in the Bruce Springsteen. Oh, it is now effeminates at Hogwarts. I don't know the terminology. What do you call them? Oh. Lady boys. Hogwarts was different when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> He's become an old salty yeah. fucking wizard. Oh, wizard. <laughs> That's for queers. <laughs> sound like a regular road confused Jonathan. <laughs> you sound like a scared oh. Timothy. I, I, I fucking... don't understand. They, it's two and a half hours the first part of the play. Then you take a two-hour break, 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 and then you come back for another two yeah, and a half hours. Yeah, you go decompress. You go to therapy. God. What's the fucking ticket cost? The ticket was, it was up there. Will you be... Really? Are you willing to divulge? I honestly, because we had to get them, like, hundreds a piece. Yes. 
A piece. Hundreds yes. of piece. 100%. You fucking yeah. magic nerds. Ah! Take it as someone that's never watched Harry Potter. <laughs> you that went, shit's dumb. You and I like wrestling. <laughs> you should have went to, you should have went to McCamey Manor for that kind of money. You would have yeah, had much could, more of an experience. You get an inbred guy yelling at you while you eat fucking goat. Yeah. It's less torturous for them to stuff you inside of a dead yak than yeah. it would be for this. I would rather be brought to hallucinations than watch that long. Is there a trailer for this? Please. There, there's also options for the ticket. So you can buy part one and two together. And What's the, the how about this sit in the sucker days? section where Lou went? <laughs> or you can, uh, the people go separately too. You can go like day one and then fucking go home and really decompress, have a bottle of wine, talk about what you saw. Yeah. Oh my God, part one and two together. That's what you yeah. did. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Man. What'd you do when you went home? Did you find, just yell into a pillow? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I fucking can't take it. Your wife should have blown you on intermission for doing that with her family. <laughs> but here, here, here trailer. Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, let's go. Wait, it's Harry. Harry Potter. <laughs> is it singing? There is no singing. Oh, no I singing. Oh, I would not have gone. It's, it's not a musical. Then it's not Broadway, friend. It's like nothing that's ever arrived. You're going to see the part that really threw me off. There's a lot of dancing. So... If I, I mean, if I could say real quick, listen, I'm all for the betterment of my fellow African Americans doing well all right. as far as Hollywood is concerned. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I think it's great that they had an African American woman and child in here. That's fantastic. What? Yeah. But <laughs> they, they took Hermione, Excuse which was me? one of the main characters from the original, yeah. who was like a white girl, yeah. Emma, and Emma, now she's like an something. older, like black woman. Yeah. So she's an old boy. Wait, so and I could not catch up to that shit. I could not like. But could I they, couldn't wrap my head around it. So every time she was in a scene, I got lost. Would you accept it if they wrote dialogue to it where they were like, "Oh, you did the old spell of black sassy. You can make, you can make delicious fried things now." God, I'm waiting for it to wear off so I can get back to my ginger ass self. One of them crack ass Slytherins. I'll tell you what happened, Harry. One of these young wizard motherfuckers. <laughs> Come down along well, and turn me into an old black woman. Everyone knows I Hermione. Swear off. <laughs> Hermione got the curse of Medea. <laughs> she caught it, and then is now an old black woman. Where my family? Oh. Where that no good Harry Potter at? Yeah. Running around with his nonsense. <laughs> got a tattoo on his forehead. <laughs> Crazy white boy shit. <laughs> he goes, oh, Flying around a broomstick. You know I love you, Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do, Harry. Get over here. Give your bitch. I know you. <laughs> I know you meant well. You wanted a good one. Bring that pink wand ass <laughs> over here. <laughs> So it fucked you up when you saw it? No, it really fucked me up. And, yeah. I, and I wanted to be so proud. Like, I'm, yeah. she's, she acted her ass off. She was yeah. fantastic. I but tell it just you. threw you off. Yeah, that. and then they have it because she's married to Ron Weasley. Yeah. And then their daughter, Ron's a redhead in the play. Mm -hmm. And then their daughter is darker than I. Uh, she's like, she looks like she was adopted just by the mom. Yeah. Like they got together after. And brought in Ron Weasley is not asking any questions. He's Ron <laughs> Weasley. Yeah. He's just accepting it like me, myself, and Irene. Ron Weasley's like, I just love her. I love her and she stays with me. Look, she says it's mine, it's mine. <laughs> yeah. It's I like, don't know, man. We're all magic. What, like, I, probably that could happen. It's that guy on, uh, <laughs> on that World Star clip I was trying to show you where the guy gets cheated on and then oh, he just yeah. keeps just fucking taking it. Just goes complete, uh. And he's like, I came back a day early. She's cheating on me and, uh, you know, she apologized and I accepted it. You're like, no, no, no. <laughs> Ron Weasley. Weasley. Man, that's a real commitment. Was Wait, your, what? did your wife do? Horrible, awful, wonderfully gross sexual things with you after that for that? Who pushed it? No. Whose idea was no? it? No. <laughs> no. Oh, it was hers. You, she's a she's a she's a big Harry Potter fan. She she's a Harry Potter head? Big time. Yeah. yeah. Po I, she's I, a I, Potter I, head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really she did nothing if I'm putting you through that. Yeah, you know, I didn't I sat through a Florence and the Machine concert. I've been trying to make Christine take a fist for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> she owes me. <laughs> oh, this is the guy where he explains that how he stayed What did you do in between the, the things? Started a new life. Basically, yeah, I just went to dinner. We had a full French dinner. Full <laughs> French real. dinner. In between the show. In between the show. Because, you know, yeah. one of the most complicated cuisines that needs to be explained. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. we had one of those. So the souffle is going to take 45 minutes. He goes, I hope. 
He goes, well. He goes, you know what? I'll take mine well done. He goes, well, I don't know. Harry Potter and his old black wife aren't going to be back till 9 o'clock. <laughs> Who's talking like that? He's like, I do not understand. Shouldn't you be happy for the diversity in Broadway? A classically racist place. It is nice that another black woman gets work. <laughs> no? It's good. Like no? You know? uh, the frog legs would be right out. <laughs> now, this is the guy that got caught. That I was telling you about. He caught his girlfriend. Yeah. A bunch. Is this one of those clips where you're watching it and you just start like moving your head like a dog that doesn't know a noise where you're like, dude, what are you doing? What do you mean? You're just getting So this guy on? shouldn't have done this. This guy's a doormat. Shouldn't dude. have put this video out. No. Watch the video. Okay. Who's the video to? All right. I, got I don't a know. Message. A question, message. I need, I need y'all to share this. I need y'all to repost this. I need answers or Paul. whatever your thoughts is. I want to know about all that. You're about to get I, it, buddy. Buddy. If I, I don't know what's happening, but you say this guy said he was cheated on a lot, and he's in a room, and there's a pair of uh, a sneakers and a box, yeah. Jordans, on the bed. And I'm like, that would be a hilarious way to catch your chick cheating. Another man's Jordans are in yeah. her bed. <laughs> you go, who's size 12 uh, Jordan 3s are these? <laughs> she goes, I didn't know you are coming back. He goes, well, what's that? Hmm? <laughs> you don't even wear Jordans. What? Uh, I'm a New Balance guy, so <laughs> I just want to know why you thought you were crossing me over to Jordans. I'm a Reebok fan. I'm a Reebok head. I got this for you. <laughs> Jimenez. You know what I mean? Whatever. We've been together seven years, whatever the case may be. So, whatever the you case know, may be. We're going through our ups and downs or whatever. Mostly downs. And, you know. Is this guy going to measure something? Why does he have a tape measure in his hand? I'm from here in California know. and back to provide for my family. I'm a trucker I'm and I'm a tailor. He goes, oh, I love a good, clean cuff. And I like a nice delivery. So he might be yo, listening. I, yo, I, I hem all her pants. <laughs> I, there ain't nothing I won't do for this girl. Every I, every morning I wake up, I, I measure her. I mean, I make sure she looks out, leaves the house looking crisp, <laughs> like an old factory owner. I got a I got a felt fader full of pins you would over think, here. You think she's in the House of Parliament, how I got this bitch hemmed up. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six days at a time to bring that money home to take care of my family. Okay. She never needed for nothing. I, You know, I, I do everything. Showtime, HBO, I, stars. Hey, the- also, real quick, doesn't change the battery <laughs> in his fucking uh, smoke detector. I just heard that. Is it, e- it really? Dude, bring it back five seconds. Growing up listening to Love Line with Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla, Adam Carolla would point it out all the time in callers. And now it's like a thing where I can't turn it off. Really? When I hear it, I'm like, fuck, change your batteries. That's really funny. Yeah. Also, it, by the way, it's funny because I believe him and his girlfriend, no one in the household is tall enough to reach the smoke detector. <laughs> I'm really tiny, so, you know, she cheated on me with regular sized men, and they don't come in here with anything. <laughs> it's like, you know, we having these brothers over to <laughs> have them change the battery. I, I, I sleep in your shoe. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep right now. You did leave one of your pumped up. I, I, I have a root. cute little pillow that I hemmed up myself. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, I, I do right everything. Do you hear? I pay all the bills, send her on trips. We go across country. I buy all the clothes. The girl I clothes. I everything. Put the food on the table. All that. I let her honk the horn. You know, the boys there? Yeah, he's the one filming it. <coughs> What's more uncomfortable, this guy and his friend having this call Tyrone moment together, <laughs> <laughs> or the or the sweat runs down my balls webcam girl? Uh, Dude, this is way more awkward. That chick was all methed and drunked out, just slapping her like, yeah, look at that. And her friend's Sweat like, run down your balls. And her friend's like, ding, 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 ding. You're getting there, baby. <laughs> They're working their way towards a common goal. There's commonality. This is just him being like, hey, bro, can you start recording me? All right, here comes some sad shit. I feel, I feel, actually, I feel like Patty was not super into it at all. Stayed off camera. Fuck you. Patty was into it. Patty was definitely into it. Is that her name? Patty, right? Mm-hmm. To sweat run down my balls. <laughs> Windows and the walls. I can't to sweat run down your balls. They are plugged in. They're not taking those headphones. Keep going with this guy. I came home from work early one day. Oh, boy. Found out she was cheating on me. We was engaged. I proposed to her, all that. She was cheating on me for four months, had a separate relationship, <sighs> leaving me at the on bed on Father's Day to go with the next man, all that. Caught her because I came home a day early. Yeah, we got that. She says sorry, all Change that, that all that, you know, whatever, you know, she didn't mean to, I'm so perfect, uh, uh, took her back. I mean, but pause that right there. He just yada yada over him getting his fucking heart blown in. He goes, yeah, he goes anyways, I want what in. it was about, his dick and shit, and yada yada. I mean, she explained you. the physics of it. He, she said he can hit parts I can't. It was basically all very <laughs> medicinal. So I took that in. I digested it. Kind of understood we were coming from a similar point. <laughs> whatever, whatever. We back together. Beep, bop, boop. Here we is. Be, be back, boop. like he just said, she just said. 
Yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah like, she he, said, sorry, whatever, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I that's, cheated on you. I, I wouldn't even take that if someone didn't pick me up at the airport. I, mean, like, I need a bigger apology than that. Goes, goes, Did you cheat on me? She went, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she just gets shitty with him. She goes, and? She goes, sorry. Right. Yeah, she goes, sorry. He goes, are you really sorry? Goes, I said it. She goes, can we go back to I'm watching? looking at you in the face. Can we go back to watching Daredevil? Thank you. Sorry. sorry. Again, sorry. <laughs> Don't bring it up again, please. <laughs> Stop that. Are you, uh, are you gonna give her, I said I was sorry. I'll figure it out. Can we go back to the show? Are you done? <laughs> you just, yes. I'm cleaning up Hell's Kitchen. It's just a, oh, Christ. Okay. Here we go. How many times am I going to pause it? I, I asked out. you, I asked you if you were done. Fisk is about to be released. Do you want me to not watch that part? <laughs> I heard, <laughs> I heard Jadafio's performance and this was a revelation and I'd like to watch it. So is there anything else? Is there anything? I'm sorry. Another man fucked me while I you just, were providing for me. Okay. Want to know, uh, what's his name? John Johnson. John, you, do you want his number? Text him. I'd rather watch the show. Can you text him while I watch the show? Don't call him. Do not call him. Or if you do, just go upstairs. <laughs> I'm putting the show on. <laughs> I carved out tonight to get through to binge this. What did I tell you this morning when we eat breakfast? I can't wait to come home and watch Daredevil. <laughs> and here we are. It's just I have some... Ah! Oh. Oh, it's just the chick just dogging him. Here. My mistake. But that took her your... back. Try to work it out because at the end of the day, I want a, I want a family. I want to be with my family. Yeah. I mean... So, you know, took her back. She still was doing her with the same nigga and other niggas, plus other niggas. Psh, add it on. Decided we shouldn't do it no more. And then I decided, you know what? I still want you. I still want to be with you. I still take you back. She said, I don't want to be with you right now. Oh. I want to, you know, I want to do my own thing. And she wants to be independent, she says, not with other men. She wants to be independent. And she wants to move out and get her own apartment and all that. And she wants to feel independent. Because I've been woman. taking care of her yeah. for seven years. You dating Beyonce. So I'm like, all right, you know, I was hurt. You know, I ain't want, I ain't want to do that. I ain't want her to do that. She did it anyways. Dude, this I, guy is acting like he got fucked over when you're just seeing, you're like, dude, how big of an idiot do you have to be? I mean, she likes you, man. Yeah, he goes, so anyways. She's a relationship. She goes, so she whatever, whatever, goes down to the courthouse and gets a restraining order. You know, I don't want her to do that. So I'm saying like... Bing, bang, boom. Now I got to carry around tape measure so I can make sure I'm as much feet away. He goes, 100 feet. You, you know what? You think 100 feet's a lot closer than it actually is. <laughs> it's a lot of tapes. become quite burdensome. And he goes, I mean, I can kind of eye it out. Again, I am a tailor. So I, <laughs> the tailor never eyes out anything because people are paying for precision. And that's what the state is doing with this restraining order. They're paying for precision. You know, I had to eat that, basically. <laughs> so why... She's looking for another apartment. I allow her to stay here. Mind you, I didn't kick her out. I told her I would leave and she could stay here. I mean, dude, she she, this guy. Is she's like, <laughs> can I have other guys come over? Yeah. <laughs> she goes, can you sleep on the floor at the foot of the bed? He goes, okay. Yo, you been known that. Yeah. Oh, God, I just want to provide for you. She goes, I want you. Would you mind just sharing the dog bed with the dog? goes, if that's what it take, <laughs> I want my family. Yeah. <laughs> She goes, I want I want to film you going on the bathroom and then put it online. He goes, yes. You know I die for you. Yo, I said that from before. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't afford this place, so she wanted to get another apartment. It's this place brought her too many memories. What? So I said, all right, so I'll stay here. I'll help you find another apartment. Jeez. I'm still cheating, cheating on me and all that. I'm still helping her find another apartment. I get, her- I get my real estate license. <laughs> now, I'm not even taking a commission. I am I am doing this pro bono. <laughs> <laughs> then she's all, boot bam, can you put the uh, first, last security down for me? And, like, I don't want to, but against my better judgment, bit, I'm, bat, boop, whatever, I'm looking here I am here. taking out a small loan. Nine months later, she's telling me I got a baby and it's your mortal enemies. And I'm going, <laughs> you, you taking my mortal enemy's child and I, I'm over here real estate broken for you? I know it's 12 months and it's been a slow, but the bubble's about to burst. People don't realize we're in some tough times ahead. And then she told me that he said he's tired of fucking her and then can she come back move in with me? And that's not really my deal. That's not my bag, but bit, bang, boom. Here we find ourselves. Love's she real. living back inside. We got married. <laughs> we got married. Come on. 
Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, are you ready for a Harry Potter-like experience? <laughs> I'm going to give you seven hours. Oh, everybody, go get yourself a French dinner and come back. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> go, get some, go get some escargot. Come back. <laughs> come back with your mouth smelling like snails. Get yourself a little to... Brie baguette. <laughs> Have you do your thing thing. I'm going to tell you how it shows out. Turns out we recast the role uh, for an Irish Where that, y'all? Um, let's, let's, let's take a break here. We have to take a break. We have to and, take a break. Uh, yeah, for uh, commercial stupid. purposes. Commercials, you're stupid. Um, but thank you for so your money. Stupid. Let's take a break. We'll come back. I'm going to come back and finish this video. <laughs> I sure. told you. This guy's just what like... What a sap. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Oh, my God. Jacob's pissing on him. <laughs> Jacob would fight this guy. <laughs> Jacob's like, I don't know. Hey, you want, Hey, you got your panties on still? <laughs> hey, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be right back, everybody. It's... The bonfire. It's true. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. God damn it! I thought I knew the Give lyrics. It, time. it sounds the same as the first song. We, sounds like the same lead singer as the first song. It doesn't sound like the same lead singer at all. It does. Me and Jacob agreed. Hang on. <laughs> Call Shane. I'm gonna text Shane. <laughs> <laughs> See if we'll send you a gift to cheer this you up. Fucking idiot. Hey. <laughs> Parentheses, Dan. <laughs> just said to me. Poison Brewers sounds like. Parentheses, read this in Dan's dumb voice. Dan's. Dan's. Michael sounds just like Dan's. 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 Dan's.
<laughs> <laughs> on a sidebar, she buying groceries for this other dude's mama. Yeah, she went vegan for this dude. <laughs> <laughs> she she vegan it. food. Expensive. Yeah. That's an expensive diet. And but he, you know, I care about the babies. I care about the mom. Oh, now I'm feeding this dude organic groceries. <laughs> then I'm going down. I gotta go all the way. <laughs> My car. But anyways, that's another story. No, it's not. It's so all this. Her new boy. Her new boyfriend told me when I got mad when I was yelling, some spit came out of my mouth and hit his Jordans. Now I got buy that dude new Jordans. This guy, he is said. She making me do it. He said my aggression scared him, so I got to pay for this dude's therapy because he feels he's in a bad place <laughs> mentally and emotionally. Apparently, he hasn't slept in weeks. And uh, what to see what the paper says here? Uh, hysterical nightmares. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. So I go down to sleep number. I get him a bed <laughs> just to make sure that he's good. Uh, to me in the bed, she's still getting texts from other niggas. Texas? She's going on dates, getting picked up in front of the I house. I need a guy who knows how to pluralize, right? Yeah, she goes, do you call text Texas? <laughs> He's like, nah, nah. She's like, want me to suck your dick in my boyfriend's car? <laughs> <laughs> you want to wear my boyfriend's shirt while I <laughs> blow you? <laughs> he goes, I'll be honest with you, if I shave your beard the right way, you could just go to his job tomorrow and say you're him. I mean, trust me, he won't fight it. <laughs> Niggas, and all I ask her to do is wait until you move out. Don't disrespect me in my crib. I mean, she didn't all she wait till I'm paying for half of your apartment. Dude, I love it where he's like, stop, 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 stop. He goes, stop disrespecting me. That's all she's done. That's been, I think, your entire relationship. <laughs> stop. Stop it. And she just keeps walking forward. Stop it. Was doing it, so finally I started. You know what? I you're gonna move on. I see there's nothing what I can if, do about. It. What if this video we don't see her coming? He goes. So then I killed her, and we're like, huh? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, wait, I'm sorry. What that, that jumped pretty quick. What happened? He goes. I murdered that bitch. <laughs> Disrespect me. I put two in the head, and I killed a lover. You're like, I think this is a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> you gotta see the way she talked to me though. There you go. I go. Uh, goes, Yo, you fucking dude to my infinity. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, she goes, what are you going to do, shoot me? you probably miss. What are you, yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> my new boyfriend shoots great all over my face. Yeah, uh, peace. Don't stay up. Anyway, sorry. Hey, can you draw a bath for me? I think my hips are going to be pretty tight when I come home. <laughs> what kind of wine do we have? Can you run to the store and get the kind that I like? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I'm looking at places. I actually might need 900 a month. Hey, do you mind coming by and changing the cat litter while I'm out getting <laughs> boofed? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm going knees to ears yeah. for this fucking uh, guy who's also, a local DJ. If there's a tie on the door, don't come a-knocking because it's my room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. I know. It's, it's not cool. Yeah. Oh my God, this video still has so much more. Where does he go from here? Move on. I see there's nothing I could do about it. I'm going to move on. Good. I started, you know, chilling, you know, doing doing me, basically. Okay, having some new so time. Today, Eat, pray, love. Up, shorty's calling me. It shows up on the Bluetooth on the screen. Tooth? I hanged up on her. Boom. She called me again. Banged on her again. She called me again. Because I'm not going to pick up a call from another girl in front of my baby mom. You know, even though we already came to the conclusion, you know, that she's doing her, and now I finally decided to do me. Bluetooth. Now that that happened, do this. I see that she <laughs> got mad. I dropped her off at the crib, was taking my friend and dropping him off somewhere else. I come back to this shit on top of everything I just told y'all. Louis Vuitton sprayed. I just cleaned them. That's why they look a little white, but they was red. Sprayed down with some red shit. Hugs sprayed down with some red shit. Sprayed down with some red shit. I don't understand what. Sprayed down with some red shit. She my Louis belt is gone. I don't even know where my Louis belt's at. This girl just came in and destroyed sprayed all of his shoes with, with fucking spray paint. <laughs> this woman <laughs> went to work on a sneaker collection. This woman is, uh, dare I say, a modern day barbarian. This she has so just bitch. raped and pillaged this guy's life. This is the blackest video I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but she's like, dude, it's so funny because he just talked. He just gave us a laundry list. We're like, wow, you suck. You're such a fucking dick. And he's like, so then whatever. I I finally got my life together for a little bit, and I had sex with one girl, and she called while I was hanging out with her, and then she just came back to his house and sprayed fucking, my shit. Dude. Sprayed. Dude. He goes, <laughs> one, one, I will say one of her complaints was my pluralization problem. He goes, <laughs> she is a local uh, English professor and <laughs> is just at wit's end with how I pronounce he goes, things. Yeah, she came by. Look, sprayed it with red. Sprayed this one with red. Jordan 3's. Spray. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Sprayed him with red. He goes, I received Texas. I'm sorry. Texts. Texts. From Texts. her. From her. 
She goes from her. She goes good, Malcolm. Yeah. His buddy filming. He goes, yeah. good, Malcolm. You did it, dude. You really tried, man. Do you want to start it again? <laughs> he goes, he goes, yo, man, take care of my boy, man. He miss you. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? Yo, come over here and get this spray shit off. <laughs> yeah. Up my bag. She cut a hole right here. Yes. She's what? like a raccoon. In the memory <laughs> foam? She's, she, right she, she, she caused fucking, oh like, like problems that you get from wild animals in your house. Yeah. The way she was trying to make a SpongeBob costume for he Halloween. Goes, he goes, I think it was similar. Her mentality was like when a bird's trapped inside and doesn't know what's inside. So I think she fluttered at the windows a lot. <laughs> uh, and tore down. Look at that. That's what a wild, it's like, that's like when you come home and you go, God damn it, did someone leave the cabin door open? She cut, she cut an inch divot into his memory foam. Which, you know. Looks like that metal will remember oh, man. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she took the pedic out my temper pedic. <laughs> <laughs> she left the pedic, cut out the temper. And then, and no temper. Yeah, uh, man, I want to watch that. I just want to see where this goes because this woman is probably my hero. Also, <laughs> she also shit my Shaquille O'Neal sneakers. She goes, I don't even know how she gets it. She doesn't even have that much fiber. She's not <laughs> consistent. I, I think it's one of them other, other motherfuckers' logs. I think she took the shit, put it in a Ziploc, and dumped it in my fucking J's. Either that or she doesn't need to do shit in my house. <laughs> <laughs> What's she owe? Oh, yeah. Let, let's go to the passport. She well, cut up my passport. Oh. Okay, she cut up my passport. What else she did? You know I'm an international playboy. <laughs> so I can't go to that that race I want to go to in Monaco. <laughs> it's F1 season. Now what? now what? Now what? Now what? Now I got to wait till they're back in North America. That, that takes forever. I want to see a race in Europe. I, I appreciate the sport for its natural habitat. <laughs> Uh, I grew up an Andretti man. <laughs> I'm a Mario Andretti guy, so you know I'm mad about that. Race season right around the corner. I mean, funny cars in my heart. <laughs> but Dude. Oh, the biggest thing, that's material shit. The biggest thing is she left my kids home alone. She left my kids home alone. Her that's the left. 17th thing you've said. That's Jim Lampley. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I got a 16-year-old daughter down there. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to bring that to the front of the list? He goes, also, she took my children. He goes, uh, she threatened. That should have been the first thing. She threatened to kill my children. You I got what? a 16-year-old daughter in here somewhere. <laughs> she sprayed my shoes. Okay, she that's cut a divot out of my thing. Okay, you can't come back from that one. It's bad, man. She fucking put- ransacked my refrigerator. Goes, well, anyway, man, thanks for letting me vent, dude. Oh, shit. Also, one last thing. She took the kids. Yeah. I don't mean to say this, but she put a feral dog in the house with my kids and left. <laughs> so I was surprised. Yeah. I came home. So being babysat by a porcupine. I come back. I Is see, that normal? I see this angry German shepherd, you know, <laughs> giving my three-year-old eyes, like, disrespectful eyes. <laughs> I hate disrespect. Just so I'm following, he had a kid with her, and she basically he has left. Kids. He has multiple so kids. So he left. She left the the kids all alone just to come over and no she sprayed spray paper. she sprayed shit, now when these kids were born half Chinese I was like something up she was like nah she was that evolution then like, and then when they was three and I was like no these kids definitely half Chinese she was like sorry she was, are you done I want to go back to watching TV yes you're not the, you might not be their biological father I mean Malcolm look at their faces is it a problem for you is it a problem for you going forward <laughs> if it's gonna be. Front door to the left. Dude, how great would it be if it's just this, like, bitchy, white lady, like, 45, like, power lawyer that's like, I sprayed, yeah, I sprayed your shit. Yeah, yeah. I sprayed it, idiot. Yeah, because I told you, I'm going to fuck who I want to fuck because I am the breadwinner. You're a <laughs> truck driver. You're lucky to fuck me. I gave you two children. I'll spray your shit all night. <laughs> or he's just dating a raccoon I or a skunk. You, what if she's like, I bought you every pair of those sneakers, Malcolm. He goes, now the crazy thing is, my girl actually a skunk. She <laughs> real life. So she sprayed this. It's just going to stink unless we put it in tomato juice. Now I got to put all to my shoes yeah. into a bathtub of tomato juice. She left my kids home alone. Her kids as well. Like, I come home, they crying. Talking about I'm hungry. Uh, uh. I had to feed them. I had to calm them down. My oldest daughter, like, yeah, mommy left with her friend, Savannah, which, uh, Savannah, you condoning this shit, you a bird for that. But, uh, left her alone, the, the kids alone, the girls are crying, they all hysterical, don't know where mommy's at. They're hilarious. So, <laughs> hysterical. They doing like, they got like five new bits. I mean, Slam. real like overdeveloped sense of humor, you I know mean, what like I mean? like real shit, like, almost like, did you write that? And they're like, nah, I just knew my voice from the <laughs> Yeah, after I dropped my friend off, 
knife. She left it on the floor with the door open with my kids alone. Butcher knife on the floor. Look at this shit. What? Scraped it. Come on, man. All right, you want to fuck my shit up? Fuck my shit up. That's material shit. I buy this shit again. I buy a new mattress. I buy new Uggs, new new red bottoms, new Louis belt. But you leave the kids alone in the house. You left a knife on the floor. Yep. Oh, no! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, that's where it cuts off? Oh, I want to know so much more about it. On. Just saying, come home, boo. Come home, I miss you. <laughs> so please spread this out because I want her to come home. Yo, come home, boo. You a wimp. Is that what he said? You a, What did he say? You a simp or a wimp? You a simp. That's so funny. The answer is you're dumb. <laughs> you don't realize love is an illusion based on standards and familiar. Wow, that got way deeper than I thought. The answer is you're dumb. You don't realize that love is an illusion based on standards and familiarity. So you go to great lengths to keep someone, not me. I be, And then it goes, not me. I be looking forward to cutting a bitch off. That says <laughs> that has to be the loneliest. Uh, wow, what a fucking roller coaster of language. Yeah, that guy has to be the loneliest guy in the world. He goes, not me. I can't wait to break up with girls. They're stupid. <laughs> but they're he's stupid and they smell good, but they're stupid. Do you see what a change in like just the yeah. tone of what he's saying? But he goes, actually, like, the familiarity and the understanding of a <laughs> proper nuclear family, and also like I'd just be waiting to yeah. cut bitches off. I be looking. I'd be looking forward to cutting a bitch off. Yes, I, I mean, this guy's just like such a sad sack that you're almost like, D- I think you deserved for her to fuck your shit up. Cause yeah. Because you, you didn't pick up the signs. That makes me, I want to fuck her. Yeah. I want to find out who she is and shake her hand, like a good, sturdy handshake. Good job, lady. Always be closing her. Yeah. Right. God damn, coffee is for closers. Here's a cup. <laughs> Here's a cup of gel. Hey, what do you got on this Glen Gary leaf? <laughs> Can I tell you something? You're all business. Dan Soder looking forward to getting in the ring with you. You are a monster. <laughs> like what you did to your baby daddy back there. Really burnt some bridges. <gasps> wow. Yeah. I mean, you really tossed that guy's life into a that guy's, spiral. That guy's got some emotional road rash. You know what I mean? You tossed him from a moving car. Dan Soder. Uh, uh, <laughs> I like these comments are great. Fantastic. All of them are gold. Yeah, kill yourself and stop blaming men for these f- females fucked up ass. Dude, my behavior. favorite is the conversation between Rob Gonzalez and Vasco da Gama when Rob Gonzalez goes, "That's why that's what you get when you get a Dominican hoe." And then Vasco da Gama said, bro, Dominican women be promiscuous as fuck, bro. LOL. And then oh. Don Ramos says, you a soft nigga, that's why bitches play you like that. And then Bearded. <laughs> that guy just gave it. Yes, that guy just gave it to him. And then uh, Bearded <laughs> Ebor wrote, kill yourself and stop blaming men for these females fucked up ass behavior. Fucking faggot. Wow, he went hard. They went, I'm not reading that fucking book. Yeah. What is this person gave it? Oh, dude, he, he, he hit people with a Bible verse. <clears throat> Wow. The fact is, a man should, in the proper society, have the right to have his wife or betrothed, legally killed, or cast out of the community into the wild for adultery. The Muslims have it right in this regard. As the man, you owe her love, care, provision, and protection. As your woman, she owes you fidelity, respect, and obedience. Oh, this guy seems fun. I like to cast her out into the wild or illegally killed. Dude, that's so funny if you said... I like it. And that's how you confronted your girlfriend for cheating? You go, did you cheat? Because I'm going to have to cast you out into the wild. <laughs> yes. Do you want to be wild? <laughs> Are you go- going towards the wild? Do, you- do you- I know. Because I, mean, I, I want to do... How many more reads do we have, Jacob? I got one right here. Two more? We better do two more? Let's do two more right now and we can do the tit-fucking video. Yeah. we got to get the tit-fucking today. We have to get to that. This is the best video ever. Yeah, let's take our last break. All right. We're coming right back. Trust me, it's worth it. We'll just get the we'll get the homework out of the way. I was going to try to do it without even taking a commercial break. Can't we just read? Go. Oh. Yeah? But we, if we take the break, then we can just clear out right till 8. All right. All right. All right. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Quick break. We'll it's be fine. right back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Keep it going. Keep the flames going. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Cinderella. You're Cinderella. You're just Cinderella. You're my Cinderella. You're my. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. Big Jokers and Dan Soder. Dan Soder going to be at Rumors in Winnipeg this weekend. Oh. That's right. Someone's oh. getting stamps in his passport. Oh. That's oh. this weekend, the 15th to the 17th. After that, he's going to be at Laugh Boston, <laughs> November 29th through December 1st. You can get tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Hey, 
Big J heading home to Philadelphia. This sell them all out. Sell, them, sell all them all out. Come oh. on. This Thursday through Saturday is going to be at Helium in Philly. And then after that, November 29th through December 1st, going to be at the Punchline in San Francisco. Go to BigJComedy.com to get tickets for both those shows. Then go to Netflix and stream his new special as part of The Degenerates. He's episode one, so it's right there. Boom. Go watch it right now. And then come back to this. Good job. Best of the bonfire. It's been Aaron on Fridays, but now it's a podcast you can download. Uh, wherever you download podcasts. Download it, subscribe, leave a comment. You know, do all that shit. Make Comedy Central... Actually, tell a friend overseas. Yeah, your pen pal. Bond over it. Uh, Jay showed me one of my favorite videos that I've only watched five seconds of up in the office. Yeah, we both said it'd be like that. <laughs> this is too good for the show. That he found uh, on World Star Uncut. Well, that's what World Star takes you to when it's a not safe for work video. Got it. Uh, you all know, if you're loyal campers, uh, this is a big, uh, well, this is a, a room divided in, into being into titty fucking and not being into titty fucking. Yeah. We even named a new sex, ass, a sex act the Alabama Caesar Salad. <laughs> That's when you're tit fucking in uh, reverse girl, direction. Reverse direction, and then the girl eats butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, guys, you guys forgot about that? Oh, I didn't, buddy. I know you didn't. I, I get it. I can't believe it. the crew forgot about an Alabama Caesar salad. That's a year one bonfire shit. Come back, clean your bonfire. Anyways, this is one of the funniest videos ever because it's a guy titty fucking a woman, and she is fed the. Well, fuck he's up. taking too long. Yeah, the title ta- of the video is I can't read it from here. It's uh, it, it says all that chatter, the fuck. Yeah, this uh, and it says chick goes off on dude for taking too long to nut. <laughs> yeah, and that's what he's titty fucking her, and she's not having it. She's upset by it. She really does have friend helping you move energy. Like there's one. Here it is. Bro, I'm finna push you the fuck up out of me, bro. Come on, bro. Bro is so funny. This shit is so wet, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. She has, How long? She has giant titties, though. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, we have to back up. I gotta hear the stuff he's saying. I think he says I really think he funny said stuff. Fucking nightmare. <laughs> That's what I said too. First, I goes. Nightmare. No, because she goes like, come on, what's taking forever? Let's go. But he's saying stuff in the background. All right, fucking Jesus. Bro, I'm going to push you the fuck up out of me, bro. Come on, bro. This shit is so wet, bro. Come on, bro. How long? Turn that in your face. Right Come now. on! <laughs> See, you bullshit. Let me up, bro. Let me up. I'm about to punch you. I'm not bullshitting, bro. You know I will. I don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> Come on. Did you just unla- Wait, unclass- back up. Back up a couple seconds. Unclass- unclass- what your titties. That's all you got to do. She's like, let me up. I'm out. Do you know when like, people want to get out of like deprivation tanks? You're like out of a pool. You're like, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I don't yeah. want to do anything more. Yeah, what is that? A fucking... Uh- like a, like a bet she lost yeah, or something? Goes, All right. That's enough. That's enough. We've done enough. And he's like, I'm sorry. I'm almost. He's talking. It's so funny. He's like, hold on. Hang on. It's right there. I'm going to grab the ring. And he goes, grab me. Nothing pushed his cum back down his dick pipe. They go, I'm more stupid. No, the when he goes, I'm about to nut. He goes, cutting on your face. He goes, let's go. <laughs> it really is like mom waiting for your kids at the van. Guys, let's go. Back up a little. Let's I let's said be talk. outside at six. We gotta go. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Okay, hold on. Let's go to dinner. Let's go to I don't know. It's pretty loud. Hold on. All right. To punch you. I'm not bullshitting, bro. You know I will. I don't give a fuck, bro. Come on. Man, let me up, bro. Let me the fuck. Did you get that on? My- what? <laughs> what? Man, come on. That's on my bra, bro. I just got this bra today. Oh, <laughs> That's a great ending. I forgot. Ah! He just fires off a little tight on her lips, and, and and she feels it get on her bra, and she goes, "You got it on my bra, bro." 
about that bra today. I mean, this girl never seems to, and then he just fires off a heavy rope yeah, and Drew, blasts across her face. Come on, this is my bra, bro. I just got this bra today. And then a big one right here. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he waterboarded her. Yeah. He goes, oh, I'm going to give you the Dick Cheney. <laughs> That's a titty fuck with your eyes. Bloody Bloody Dude, there's nothing is That funny. was a heavy rope. Yeah, but there's nothing funnier than just someone talking shit during that act, because it's just such a ridiculous sex act. Uh, yeah. like, Dude, titty, nah. that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, I mean, and you're right by her face. She's screaming up at your belly, basically. Yeah. And, it, and she's not into it at all. And I'm just, pretty sure it, that guy it, can come during a hurricane with that going on. I mean, he keeps going. He goes, hang on, almost there. While someone's going, well, how long then? I'll, I'll put this guy. On, we're on the edge. I'll put this guy at the fucking free throw line any day on my basketball team. <laughs> He's clutch. He has, yeah, he has unshakable nerves. He has clutch. If she was for like, sure. if she was going, how long? You just see me go soft. And I go, we can just. Do you want to go get something to eat? Yeah. How long? I think never. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how does forever sound? Because it's back up in my balls. Goes, how long? Goes, next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whenever the, we do this thing in next time. The sperm and semen have reseparated. I mean, go back to the, I mean, play it from the beginning again. There's not a not funny moment of it. Because even when they're not talking, you're just hearing like the... Yeah, he goes, come on! Yeah. Oh, no. Get well, here we go. <laughs> Bro, I'm finna push you the fuck up off of me, bro. I'm soft right there. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, yeah, all right. Hold on. Let's do us doing it. Wait, okay, hold on. This shit is. is so wet, bro. Oh, well, it's fun for me. Can Come you just on, relax? Bro. How oh, long? I don't know. The longer you talk, the longer it doesn't happen. Come on, right? right. <laughs> I'm trying. See, you bullshit. Let me no, up, I'm bro. I'm not bullshitting. I can't let you up. Let me up. Oh, well, I'm about on. to punch you. I'm not bullshitting, bro. Okay, you well, know don't, I will. Why is he a shirt over her head like they're in a hockey fight. Yeah. Come on. He's I want to give you the game Neely. <laughs> Man, let me up, bro. I can't, I can't let you up. She goes, Jake, why she's dressed like Daredevil season yeah. one? Yeah. That's, yeah. She goes, I got to solve Hell's Kitchen's problems, bro. I can't be here getting titty fucked on night now. Uh, dude, what a fucking hilarious ending. Whoop. Yeah, there's a lot more there. I mean, it almost seems like something like, is the guy into the girl seeming like she's annoyed in this or she was like I'm gonna like, put something over my face so you don't fuck up my eye makeup and my hair yeah she had other plans that night yeah this was probably a pre-dinner fucking TF that's right hey you mind if I get a little TF in for you she thing? goes ah oh, where are we going can you be quick yeah he goes mm -hmm. yes of course I can those be so big, quick these big soft that. boobs around my dick and she's like can I yell at you? He goes, you know I love when you get impatient with me. <laughs> You're that's the timid thing. motherfucker, ain't you? Right, that's, like, that's his thing that he has to explain to his new girlfriend. He goes, I like when <sighs> women are sexually impatient. He's just like, what turns you on? He goes, while I'm having sex with you, <laughs> can you say I've got better things to do a lot Yo, and oh, keep complaining about how long goes, it's taking Oh, me? can you act like I'm keeping you from doing the thing you actually want to do, which is anything other than what we're actually doing? She goes, I think I can get there. And if you feel like saying my name, yell at another man's name and say, or whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. Scott, or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to punch Come you. Come already. My favorites. I'm going to punch you. Yeah. I'm going to punch you. You know, I don't give a fuck. But dude, there's nothing will make me drier than make my dick hit. Now, you know, I come by going like, I'm going to punch you in the stomach. Like, why would you do that? No, I think his next word, I'm going to punch you. You know what? I, I don't give a fuck. And he goes, I'm going to finish now. <laughs> Finish on your lips. Finish on your face. Goes, Come on! He goes, okay. <laughs> dude, you, you please. She responded like he called her out when she said, he goes, yeah. he goes, he goes, if, if same reaction if he goes, he goes you want to fight outside? Yeah, she goes, I'll fucking punch you. Go back, yeah. This is the beginning. I'm about to chew off his face. Bro, I'm finna push you the fuck up out of me, bro. That's hilarious. <laughs> Come on, bro. Because, all right. This shit is so wet, bro. So funny. Come on, bro. How long? <laughs> you want to fight outside? Come on. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think you're stupid. You want to fight? See, you bullshit. Let me yeah, up, you bro. You bullshitting. Let me up. Let you I'm up. about to punch you. I'm not bullshitting, I let you bro. up. We're about you know to fight. I, I let you up. We're about to fight. By the way, in the video, clearly this guy is not forcing her to do anything. Yeah. So I will say it, but it is funny because titty fucking, though, in the way they're doing it, yeah, it's, you it's have to sport. be let up. <laughs> like, yeah. She's like, let me up. Stop. I mean.
But here's the deal. The, the, the she pull away shot of this. The she pull- unclasps her boobs. Yeah. It ends. Oh, yeah. The pull away shot of this, though, of what yeah. just seeing like his dumb fucking ass, like just squeezing into her dumb tits. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. I know you love tit fucking. Not but a, the I mean, act is so silly. I mean, not. I would say in the years butt, you've done butt it. tightens yeah. up as you, yeah. as you yeah. stick in. It's a, it is a fun, I see the funny in it. Even as a fan of TF. So funny. I'm, I understand the funny in it. It's hilarious. Play, look at her. Yeah, she's just squeezing her By the way, together, it's very, yelling at a guy. Yeah, she's squeezing her boobs together over his dick, yelling at him. Come on! The train's pulling out of the Come station! On. Come on! Man, let me up, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, let shit. me the fuck. If you get that on... She goes, mm, that's you. Yeah, she's real. She was about to man, talk herself. Come on, herself that's on my bra, bro. I just got this bra today. Oh, damn. Man! <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. She pushes him off, by the way. Successfully. Oh, yeah. She completes. She gives up her back, though. Yeah. I mean, he was about to, if he sunk in the hooks, he could have just stretched her out and really ended it with a rear naked. Rear but naked choke right I'm there. Not here to, I'm not here to walk her through an MMA complex. Do you want to do dog lady video? Oh, we don't have a lot of time. I know we don't have a lot of time. We have one time for one more thing, but there's like... tease things we're going to talk about tomorrow? I mean, tomorrow, Autumn Rowe was on Dr. Phil, yeah. today and tomorrow. I mean, that's going to be we found, That's going to be a whole fucking episode. Because, by the way, it's it's out there, and you see the boyfriend, you see her dad. We watched a little bit of it. Fuck! Yeah. Well, of course, we're talking about Autumn Rowe is the girl that keyed the car and who said my Dr. Phil impression's trash, so she is an enemy of the state. Yeah, let's tea. We could tease Loud this for trash. tomorrow. We only have about 10 minutes. Bring up the Autumn Rowe video, the, 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 the original. Bring I mean, up the original dude, video. Come on, you know this. If we open a bag of No, this, the original video. It's the original video. Oh, she's talking about the abuse. No. Oh, of her keying the car. Yeah. I lost my mind. Yeah. I lost my mind. I lost my mind. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Uh, we can take uh, gambles here on how we think this Dr. Phil goes. I think Dr. Phil, uh, I mean, obviously the boyfriend's the bad guy, because we already know she is. Mommy, Lee, you're kidnapping me. <laughs> Bro. Dude, how great? Can we match up him with great. the titty fucking girl? Can we match up that audio of him? Uh, you're kidnapping me. She's like, let me up. Mommy, let me. Lee, you're kidnapping me. You're yeah. attacking my car. You, I lost my mind. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I lost my mind. Yeah, she's on Dr. Phil. It's a two-parter, right? It's Monday and Tuesday. She called in. Really? We got, yeah, we got the exclusive. Yeah. Monday and Tuesday. You know, they interview her. They interview her dad. They interview her boyfriend. What's your dad say? What about the car? Oh, yeah, she's a real dip. Do they interview the guy that worked at Enterprise that was running the car? He goes, well, it was a long Thursday. We got it back all keyed up. Uh, it was not a touch-up pace situation. The thing had to go back in for an only real panel. As you know, he goes, we only, we only charge you when it's golf size uh, damage. Golf, golf ball size damage. And this had a lot of it. But there's no bad, bad press because she, she called Lou and, or texted Lou just to say my Dr. Phil's on. Yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. crazy. It's pretty crazy that she's like, she better learn how to rap. Yeah, dude, if she's rapping. She's about to take off, bad baby. She gets some sick ass lyrics behind her. She goes, girl. How do you, you got bars? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be right back on Dr. Phil. How are you? That's caught. I'm losing my mind. I'm fucking losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. All right, all right. I can see you being a singer. Would you want to be in like a five part harmony I'm putting together? <laughs> I got a bunch of girls that are basically like feral animals and I'm going to put them in a girl group and I feel like you could be the head. Your Dr. Phil's trash. Oh, I love that fighting spirit. You're nuts, huh? Yeah, this is going to be a two-parter. You get loose. We're going to have to watch this two-parter. Yeah. Quit hitting. I've lost my mind. Quit hitting. Stop hitting me. You're hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. I mean, they're going to talk about this video, clearly. Oh, you don't need to give a fuck. It's cool. I got video proof of you doing this. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. Let me leave. You have me blocked in. Let me leave. You're kidnapping me. Let me leave. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Dude, you're kidnapping me. Clam, dude. It's still the funniest thing. <laughs> Stop it. You're kidnapping me. This is the guy that punches women. You're kidnapping me. <laughs> you're kidnapping me. And it's, it's official. He beat the shit out of her. Yeah. 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 It's like what the Jeez. clips are about. Jeez, Louise. Do you want to just see what the guy looks like? I do so bad. I want to see what the guy looks like. Should we save it for tomorrow? Let's see what he looks like. I already see him now. He looks oh. like a soccer player. He looks like he plays for FC Barcelona. And then <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a football player. I am a football I Oh, dude, look at her dad. He looks like his name is Tevin. He looks like a former wrestler. Oh, this is great. 
The dad, yeah, he goes, I wrestled under the name Sasquatch, <laughs> yes. garbage man, sanitation <laughs> Samuel. I was three-time NWA tag team titles. <laughs> I had the television title in WCW in 1997. I was part of a team called the Warlocks. <laughs> was was part of the, the Destroyers. Uh, we were, uh, you know, low-level Low level sensations in the in the Philadelphia uh, area. Then I was uh, Fashan the Almighty. <laughs> it was a weird Middle Do we want to just preview this a little bit? I do. Oh, man, I do want to taste. I right, go to the beginning. It sets up. There it is. There she is. That's her angel. Hi, cute. I'm Dr. Phil, and I didn't know that this summer was going to be the weirdest <laughs> summer of my life. <laughs> I'm doing fun teenage video voiceovers. Stop right there. Yeah, I'm giving you the Deadpool treatment. I'm Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh, oh, there's no volume. Go to the beginning. Oh, dude, it's just him abusing her while he puts away forks. He goes, who puts the forks where the knives are, you stupid bitch? So that's her dad abuse and mental abuse through her parents, stuff that's happened her whole life growing up. Autumn has told me stories about where her dad has hit her and where he's like drug her out the house by her hair. She told me that her father used to call her a raging bitch. And she also told me that her dad's racist. Oh, really sticking him there. And he goes, and that's, he goes, cue me. <laughs> he goes, she said her dad's a racist, so we know how A got to B. <laughs> He goes, if you put your foot down, they run right into the arms of a guy that, yeah. And her dad does look like a racist, <laughs> just the way he looks. I go, that's a guy who probably screams the N-word out at the TV occasionally. Yeah, but I would never break bread with a Jew. Well, ever. Ever. Well, that changed, too. Even that came that came around. Do you want to watch a little bit more? Mm-hmm. May I? So. This is the dad talking. I, I don't know. If I've ever met anyone more foolish than you. Yes, sir. Let me. Oh, uh, oh is the boyfriend going to be that guy the whole time? Yeah. He's like, yeah, you think? Yeah. yeah. You know what he's doing? He's giving, he's giving fucking he's Danielle Brigioli. He's doing Brigioli attitude. Oh, man, I'm so excited. This man plays midi for uh, Real Madrid. One of the best midfield players I ever seen in my life. A cross kick that would make uh, Pele weak. <laughs> this man with the ball is a magician. A magician of kicking the ball to and fro. Do you think Wardrobe got him, or did he show up in such an unlikable jacket? That is such a professional wrestling leather jacket. <laughs> I mean, what an a I mean, only an asshole buys that jacket, or a guy who wants you to think he's an asshole. And he's doing the like the. Mm -hmm, I'm foolish. Mm -hmm. You think so? Oh, why don't you tell me what's not foolish, oh. then, Mister? Man, we're gonna need like a six-hour episode to get through this. Can I we know. get the Can we get the full episodes? Can you yeah. just pull hey, it? Lou, Black Lou, you want to get your in-laws for, for this one? <laughs> <laughs> the guy I won't listen to the radio show. He goes, "What if I told you we had a seven and a half hour episode?" He goes, French meal in there. <laughs> we get to break for a little French meal in between. <laughs> Le poisson. <laughs> Le poisson. Out, I guess. Maybe some poulet. <laughs> no. Some la petit filet. Ah, la beefsteak. Uh, we will go. A uh, wine lobby. I would like to see a seven hour Broadway play about a magic boy. <laughs> <laughs> a magic boy who has married to an old black woman. But, uh, Steve, I am just lonely. <laughs> I am <laughs> around. We break. I take you to a little cafe for a while. But I like to know that the mixed family goes to play. Uh, this man is a very punchable fellow. <laughs> to see the clip right here, this is, I just want to get a little bit more. Oh. Go back. Hey, there's me. Go back. Dan, you were there for this? Oh, my God. Uncle Phil? He looks oh, like no, a white Uncle Phil. That's not you, Dan. That's, a, that's not you, Dan. That's the... Uh, Go back to it. That's when you, when you were on the Cobra Kai's, rooting for Johnny in the background. <laughs> yeah, get him a body bag. I, I don't know if I've ever met anyone more foolish than you. Yes, sir. Let me. He says yes, sir. Hey, feather hair. So let me carefully define what? the situation for you. Yes, sir. You've come on stage and you're smiling and you find great humor in the fact that you're sexually assaulted there's and no physically humor. There's assaulted. No humor to it. There's no humor to it. There's no humor to it. You had the courage. I don't think I want to call it that. I think I want to call it the, um, the poor decision to look my wife in the eyes and, 
Use your fingers to illustrate. But if you whoa, listen to it, what? Dude, we got to see this whole fucking episode. We have it. He DVR. finger illustrated for the mom. He goes, I went like this. This is your daughter. This is me. I thought you showed me on her. He was like a doll. He goes, he goes no, look, mom, be honest. This ain't nothing, right? Goes, this ain't nothing. I'm just rubbing on the outside goes, lips. Over your clothes. It's just a majoris. Over I ain't even going on the menorah. He goes, over the clothes. Over the clothes. <laughs> I'm just knocking it back and forth a little bit. It's like loose sheets. He, he goes, I'm sorry. I'm, I could be searching. You probably get this at TSA at any airport. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I've met a man as foolish and as damn kissable. Say what, Hunter? Huh, you want, want me to kiss you? I want to kiss you right here. You want to kiss me right here? That'd be a great in front thing. Of my wife. Then she comes out and starts like, rapping in the background. <laughs> oh, two motherfucking kissing. I lost my fucking mind. 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 <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all losing your minds out oh. there tonight. Oh. Hey, what? I am a music mogul. <laughs> He's the new Lou Pearlman. I put them together. You buy the albums. That's the new Lou Pearlman. Dan Soder is your new favorite comic. Coming to you, Rumors, oh, Winnipeg. Oh, you son of a This bitch. weekend, Canada. Winnipeg, Canada, Thursday through Saturday. You can see Dan at Rumors. And then after that, the 29th through December 1st, you can catch him at Laugh Boston. Uh, big town for campers. Yeah, big that. town for campers. Big town for campers. Big Go town. get tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Big J going to be at Helium, Philadelphia, the 15th through the 17th. After that, he's going to be at the Punchline in San Francisco, November 29th through December 1st. So tickets for both those weekends are at bigjcomedy.com. Come on, Philly. Come on out. He's yeah, returning home. Then go stream is special on Netflix as part of the Degenerates episode one. We love you. We'll be back tomorrow live. Live. Maybe with the whole episode. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Good lord. It's the bonfire crackle crackle.